What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back. It's Taggy time to another video. Today we're doing my Lego shop at home wish list um, of all the Lego sets I want. We did an Amazon one, did pretty well, so I thought I'd do a Lego one as well. Um, yes, we are sat on the kitchen side because Mum's watching uh, 30 Reasons Why in the living room and uh, Keenan is in bed upstairs because he's at school tomorrow because the lockdown started to ease in England. But yes, yeah, so, we're going to scroll all the way down so you can look at everything and then we'll go back up and look at everything individually. Right, so at the bottom, uh, there's only a few things in here, but yeah, we're at the bottom. So, wedding, fa wedding favour set 2018. Um, just give you the main picture. The reason I want this is because it's a good build, and there's a couple of hair pieces and hairstyles there um, that I can get for customs, because you know, I like making customs, and I thought a couple of extra hair pieces would be very useful uh, for some customs, and I thought there's a couple of great pieces in there with a Lord of the Rings ring, whoops, a nice aisle build. And some clear heads for the dishes. I just thought it was a cool little cheap set uh, that I could get for some extra pieces. Um, then moving on to the Kai Spinjitsu burst. You heard my opinion on Keen's, and I really liked it. I especially like the figure and the tiger and the playability with it. I also like. Um, how it gives you two hats, and I'd prefer the Strombrera straw hat thing over uh, the mask, and the mask could be used on some customs, which is very nice. And I just want, I'm not sure if I want to get it because, um, uh, from quite a while ago, uh, what is it? Um, the ultimate, or the, what is it, overpowered. Forbidden Spinjitsu, um, them suits came in the magazine, so I'm not sure if I want to get these just yet, just in case they do come in the magazine. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably get it when after the magazine, just in case. But other than that, we got the Razor Crest, which you probably all know why I want this. Um, we get uh, that'll be my first new helmet for that trooper. Um, always a good figure to get. He's exclusive, and he's got some nice printing and. Top, like, good for customs. This is the main reason it's Baby Yoda, but I'm gonna hold off from this set because there is rumors of a brick built Baby Yoda, which will probably come with this guy, and it'll be a probably easy way and cheap way of getting it. And I have the buildable BB 8 and Pog, so it'll be a nice one for the collection. I did not get Dio because I didn't think he was like a good enough character, like, I didn't like him as much as BB 8 and Pog, and um, I didn't get Yoda because he looked like a gremlin like Spike from uh, Gremlins. Moving on to The Mandalorian. Uh, it's just a more detailed version of The Mandalorian I already have because I got the Mandalorian battle pack, so that's really nice. Uh, but there's a lot of features and like hidden details. I like The Mandalorian show, it was really nice. And there's a lot of hidden compartments and stuff. You've probably seen this in the uh, pictures I did. But yeah, it's just a cool set overall, but pretty sure I'll just hold out because I have all the figures in this set, barring the one on the left, and the price is pretty steep. Uh, but other than that, yeah, that's about it for that. I'm uh, going to move on to Batman Batwing versus Riddler Heist. I am, I did hold off on getting this, and I am still holding off on getting this, because there is a Shazam uh, film, like Lego film on Amazon, which I can get, and I can get the Shazam figure for much cheaper. I mean, the Commissioner Gordon's really good, but I really wanted a Shazam figure. Uh, and it's a good figure, and uh, the Riddler's ex new for me. Commissioner Gordon's new, but it's just same old Batman. And I already have, like, a Riddler and a Commissioner Gordon. I have one of each. So it wouldn't have been too bad to get it, but uh, I think a cheaper version would be just to get the film off Amazon, because it comes with uh, Shazam with his hairpiece and not the hood. Uh, but 
yeah, the price is still pretty steep for like 50 quid. Uh, the Venom Source Ambush, I am definitely going to get this set uh, when I go to Smith's again because Venom, favorite metal bad guy. It's got Spider Man in it, of course, I'm getting six Spider Man. It's got Iron Spider, comic book version. I didn't get the first set he was in, which is uh, the Sandman and Rhino one. I didn't get that one, I held up on it. Uh, and I'm glad I did because I have all the figures from that set. Well, all the characters. They look different from the versions of the set, but I have all the characters and I'll get Iron Spider and ha Spider Ham, and, which is a better deal in my opinion if I get this. Uh, and I didn't really like that set build. Uh, I don't really like the buggy, but the Venom Saurus just looks really cool. And um, I have the Spider one and I have the actual Venom deck and I'm just... I want to get all the Venom sets because he's my favourite character and everyone's complaining that we're getting too many Venom sets. I'm sorry I'm talking really fast, but I just I just do. Uh, but I like all the Venom sets. He's my favourite character and it's just really cool. I like more versions of Venom. Like, uh, I think, like Captain America Venom and like more Venomized characters. Just thought it'd be cool. Uh, then we are going to scroll up on to what is next the Avengers Helicarrier I'm also definitely going to get this because Black Widow's exclusive we got a new Captain Marvel helmet piece and a war machine Murdoch's also exclusive and it's good to get another Thor and Iron Man in that style it's a good value for figures we got another Nick Fury in there which is cool it's cheaper than the Razor Crest by like Ten pounds, so I'd rather get this than the Razor Crest because it's more figures, better build in my opinion. And um, yeah, I haven't had a Helicarrier before, so that's a big bonus as well. So I'm definitely gonna get this because I like Avengers more than Star Wars. I like Marvel and DC more than Star Wars. Uh, so yeah. Also, I think it's better price value because we get Captain Marvel with a new piece and just more figures, more detail in this set. So with that said, I'm probably definitely gonna get uh, the buildable baby Yoda if that does come out. And then uh, moving on to the Firestone deck. So I was almost right in the react and watch for Ninjaga season thirteen. But I was right with the figures it get you come with it, which is two orcs, Carl, Kai and uh, Nia. I like the box art, I like the set, I like, it comes with an exclusive sword which is nice and their exclusive armour. Uh, so it's fire, it's Kai and Curl working together to create the mech by the looks of it. And I just like mechs in general, they're probably like the best sets in my opinion because I, I don't know, I don't know why, I just prefer mechs to like houses and stuff. It's just my opinion, you know, a lot of people don't like the mechs but I do. Uh, and uh, yeah, this one's pretty cool. It's got my favourite character in it. I wish it had Jay in it as well, but that I'm just riding on it. Being Jay in his night armour being in the magazine that I get. But yeah, I think it's very detailed, very cool. And um, yeah, can't wait to see the new season. And um, it's got three of my favourite characters in it. Uh, because my favourite character list goes Kai, Jay, Cull, Nia. Zen, Woo, Lloyd. I do not like Lloyd. I'm sorry. I don't like Lloyd. But yeah. Uh, so they're my... It's just missing Jay. Jay's a cool character, but... I'm riding on him being in the magazine, because he usually is. And that we're going on the Redstone Battle. Uh, I really want this, because... Uh, I played a lot of Minecraft Dungeons on the channel... Uh, we just need to do the last level, my kid. The last two levels. Um, I want this because I want more Minecraft Dungeons sets because it's a good game. Also, you can see my character there on the left in the blue. That is my skin that I chose for this series. So that's cool. It's got a lot of exclusive like weapons, prints, and again, I told you I liked mechs and uh, the big redstone mechs. Pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh, and it, like, Lego and Minecraft, it's like 
the best thing because of the blockiness of it and it's like it's just a great partnership because blocks with blocks it's just best video game crossover you can get uh, but I like how it translates as well it's very cool they are very scary in the game me and Keen have screamed a few times trying to run away and fight them uh, but yeah, I think it's a cool set, uh, and I would like it, so hopefully I can get it soon, like, yeah, lockdown ends soon so I can go out and get it, because I would like to go uh, to um, Smith's to, like, get these sets and feel the bags for uh, Series 20 so I can get the ones I want, but... I only want one minion set, and that's what we've moved on to now. The unstoppable bike chase. And the reason I want this is because it comes, I don't know, because it comes with Bob, Stuart, and Gru. So, like, the three best characters. Uh, it's got two main characters from the Minions movie, Bob and Stuart. The third one is Kevin, but he's out yet. Well, he is out. He's just not in a set yet. And the Minions look pretty cool in Lego. And I've seen Just Too Good's review on it, so kind of like it. I wish Gru had a nose, though. But other than that, it's, like, good figures. And uh, the bike is pretty cool. It's just... It's cool. It's just an oversized 20-pound bike. But it's pretty cool. It's minion fine. And everybody loves minions. Everybody. But, yeah... Uh, we've already seen the Techno Reef Party, so I'm going to skip over that one because we saw it in the Amazon list. But here is the White Dragon Horse Bike from LEGO Monkey Kid. This is the only Monkey Kid set I'm buying because LEGO kind of gave me a copyright strike for it when it's fair game, so I'm still kind of salty. So I'm only going to get this one set because I want the figure, I want the figures, I want the Monkey Kid, I want Maya, I think she's called. I also want the two bulls because of the pieces and the bike is pretty cool. I don't get how it's a dragon with their wings like that, but I like it. I very much like it and I enjoy the series on um, the Lego. Lego's posting the series on uh, their YouTube and that's what I've been watching it on. It's uh, I do kind of like it, so I do want this set, and I will only get this set, because I refuse to buy any more. So, this is the only LEGO Monkey Kid set I'll be getting and reviewing, like Ash and Flash. Uh, but moving on to the Mr. Freeze Bicycle Battle. Um, I want this because it's got nice pieces. Mr. Freeze is cool. Uh, it's a new updated version. And I still have the old one, and uh, it's a new mask piece, which I like. And um, Robin is cool, because I don't have that Robin either, and I don't have that Batman. And uh, the cape is useful, and um, I just like the bikes. Bikes are another one of my favourite uh, built cars, because I think cars are just, like, they do them, and the, like, they could fit more people in the cars. But like motorbikes are only supposed to seat one person, so it's fine if they like, if they only do that. But cars are supposed to fit at least four people, so it really annoys me that only one person or two people fit inside it. So yeah, I prefer motorbikes to cars when it comes to Lego, but I prefer mechs overall. And it's a nice cheap set, we're really out of stock, so I can't get it anyway. Uh, we're gonna skip over uh, the Techno Reef and the hidden side because. Of over that, the Amazon video, so go check it out. Series 20, we'll save to last, because, actually no, we'll talk about it now. Series 20, uh, I don't want the entire series, I only want, uh, I want the Llama Kid for a Fortnite Llama. I wanted to make a Fortnite Llama. Uh, none of these. I want the Turtle Girl, because... I like turtles, and um, it's a new turtle piece, so that's really cool. Uh, don't want either of these. The Nunchucks Kid, I'm debating on getting. Uh, 
Llama Girl, I definitely want. Because I, I like all the costume characters. I know people don't like them, but they're the best minifigures, in my opinion, out of every series, the costume ones. And um, I want these two, because that knight helmet is really good for a Swagger Souls custom. Uh, I just thought of it uh, when I first saw the series, I could make a Swagger Souls custom with that helmet. And I want the Power Ranger as well, because it is just my favourite of the series. So what's that? Two, four, six, seven. I want seven minifigures out of the series. And each of them have a new or big enough piece to feel out which one's which, so that's quite easy for me. Uh, but yeah, that's why I wanted to go to Smith's, because that's my closest Lego store, and because I only want seven out of sixteen. Um, we'll go to the top one, we'll skip out Cur Skull, uh, we'll skip out Curl's speed of car because we've already talked about that in the Amazon video, the minifigure Ninjago 2020, we've already got that, this list was made before I ordered it, so we can get rid of that, because we already have it, so I don't need to talk about it. The fire, sort of fire, the shuriken device, I just wanted to know if they were plastic or foam, because then they look pretty big, and I'm like... Are they, do they look like that when they're big? Like, they're just really confusing me. Because the shurikens of ice, they're 10 pounds, so they have to be big. And I'm like, they look pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I do like the look of them. I wouldn't buy them, I just wanted to know more about them. So if you guys can teach me, please comment down below what they are. And how big they are, if you know what I mean. Like, are they plastic, firm, or whatever? Because from these pictures, I can't really tell. I know they're big, because they have a, a tag on it and a hole somewhere, so then the tag can fit through. But I just wanted to know what they're made out of. And like, because the, I've seen them Fortnite pickaxes in Smiths a lot, but like, I haven't seen them in Smiths. So we're going to move on to the last thing, which is Gold Z minifigure accessory pack. I like the minifigure accessory packs because it's just an easy way to get figures. And they're the main focus of the set, so you don't have to like, worry about the big build. Oh, what is this? Uh, but yeah, we get an Android, a robot, Z Gold, which is exclusive, and... Forgot his name, I think he's called Ninny Ninjroids, because he's like smaller than the rest, and that's an ongoing jerk in this rebooted season. And um, I never got him in any set, so I think it'd be cool to get him here. And it's just a cheap way to get a lot of cool figures. Zed's exclusive. I like that tiny Ninjroids, cool. That Ninjroids, cool. That one is just common because he came in the. Whatever, I forgot what the series was called. It's like. The one where the statues come back to life of all the past enemies. He was um, in the sets, so he was the one that we got two of. He came in the magazine, luckily enough, so I got him. But I got one of him and two of them, if I if my memory serves correctly. So it'd be nice to get him and some another one of this guy, just to like army build and get more, because there was lots in the series. And it would just be really nice in general. Uh, but other than that, I've talked you through my entire list and I hope you enjoyed hearing why I want them and what I like about them and why I want them. I think I already said that. Ah, uh, no. Lockdown's making me crazy. Comment down below if you want me to try it, if you want me to tell you my wish list from any other shops. Uh, I think I could do a Smith's Toy Superstar one uh, if you want me to talk about that. Uh, comment down below. And um, yeah, other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.